Hello, welcome to Linux Reviews for You. Today I shall be showing you how to install and use OpenSSH or SSH on a Linux machine and a Win Windows machine. So, let's get started. In Linux, just to open up a terminal and type sudo apt get install open ssh dash client type your password and I've already got it so uh, it won't install for me but next one sudo apt get install open ssh server so that's how you install the both of the uh, clients well the client and the server you can only install one if you know what you're gonna what computer is going to be server what's going to be the client but um yeah so i'll just take you to windows and uh, there's a simple program in windows you can use called putty so I should have been a bit more organized but just do a google search oh what's it what's happening So just do a SSH client putty download and it will take you to here. I'll put a link in the description but I just chose this one for my 32 bit and it worked fine. So just save that to your desktop as putty, close that and everything will be all good. So just double click on putty and this is a client uh, not a server file so it's an idea to use your Linux machine as a server so to log on to your Linux machine you're gonna have to need you're gonna need the IP address so you can simply do that by going back to your terminal and typing if config and here it will bring up your two network cards or how many you have with your IP located here so mine's 192.168.0.4 so if I just type that in and it will always be on port 22 you can change this to make it a bit safer but I'm not going to worry so now it's coming up as login as well if we go back to our terminal here it says that I'm logged in as Christopher so you can also do a who am I and it will say Christopher so I want to log in as me so if I type my name so if your name's Bob you type in Bob if you uh, had that as your username for your computer and then type your password for that user as well so as you can see I'm logged in to my Ubuntu system now uh, when you do this for the first time it will come up with a pop-up message just click yes saying that you want to uh, connect to this computer and you can do anything from CD desktop make directory hello so and there we go it's made the directory from my Windows system and you can do about anything 
uh, as long as you've got the know-how of the terminal you can do just about anything f without even touching your computer so that's all for today uh, thank you uh, for watching please like and su subscribe and goodbye